I'm going to get myself buried. This seems to be a perfect place. Looks like they've got a track record. You might think that it's impossible to escape being buried alive because you'd suffocate pretty quickly. So first up, I want to work out how much time I've got to escape before the lack of oxygen finishes me off. And because I haven't got a total death wish, I've got an ambulance and a doctor standing by to make it all end happily. I'm going to seal you in now. Right. So this is Perspex so you can see me. I can see you the whole time. The clock starts ticking the moment my captor closes the coffin lid. So I'm going to seal you in. Great. From now on, all I've got to breathe is the air sealed into the box with me. Ned's going to measure the oxygen in my blood and the makeup of the air trapped in the coffin. As I breathe in oxygen, I breathe out carbon dioxide, or CO2, and after just three minutes, it's the CO2 which starts causing problems. That's the alarm. Oh, but that's our safety feature, to know we're going far out of uh, the normal. Oh, great. So even though that alarm's gone off, we're still going? We're still going. The CO2 that's building up in my blood makes it a lot harder for my blood cells to take up any oxygen, even if it's there in the air that I'm breathing. There's a battle going on inside me. The more carbon dioxide there is in my blood, the less space there is for the oxygen needed to keep me alive. And because, like me, the carbon dioxide can't escape, it's getting more and more concentrated in the air and in my blood. And struggling to get out just makes things worse. Got to act like I was trying to break out. You're going to be using your muscles, breathing more oxygen, producing more carbon dioxide. I just feel really, like, groggy. Ned's decided I've had enough. So we're going to get you out of there. Fresh air, come on. Ah. So the question is, how long would I survive if I was really buried alive? Ah, oh, man. When you're fighting to get out of the box, we saw the oxygen levels dropping by about half a percent in a minute. So you've probably got about, if you're really going for it, 16 minute maximum. Oh, man. So when it comes to being buried alive, time is definitely not on your side. 